morning. It's still, it's, um, I like to show off my grays. I love my own gray hair. It's a really nice color. It's kind of dark underneath and see how it goes. This light bulb, it has a nice color to it. I love it. Anyway, I feel much better now. My right hand is itchy, that means I've got to pay a bill. If your left hand is itchy, that's when you receive money. You pay with your right hand if you're right hand. So it looks like I'm paying a bill. I wonder what bill. Hmm. It is a mystery. <laughs> I'm going shopping tomorrow, so maybe that's what it's all about. Got to get some dog treats for the dog and kitty litter for the cat. Probably some more food for the cat. Or I'll wait until I get close to running out and then buy some more. Hmm. So lovely, have you heard the songs from uh, Hackney Diamonds, Sparkly, <laughs> Sparkle in your life to listen to some different music, pretty much the same sort of, um, what would you call it, rock. So there's not much to talk about music. I've got birds in the background and um, water flowing, which isn't anyone's music. And you can't stop water flowing and birds chirping. So you can legally use them. My cat is asleep on my black glass on my desk. Yeah, so I feel much better. I had a sleep but I slept with the cat and the dog on my bed and it was a bit of comforting but type squatting. I do have a queen size bed but still they take up all the room. <laughs> and then when I turn I've got to be careful where I turn and I'll put my legs. Yeah. But I do feel a lot better. Um, it took me couple of days to get over Louise trophying her out in the morning. She was going, she said she was leaving that day anyway, but uh, my friend wanted her out in the morning. I wanted her out in the morning, so I used that as an excuse to her, telling her, you know, Jasmine has been um, dragging stuff out you're not out by the morning, but she meant by the day, but I just told her in the morning to go because I was going out and I don't want anyone here while I'm out, especially her. Things could go missing. She could take off before I got, here, got back and took a lot of stuff. So um, that could have happened. So to prevent that from happening, I told her I don't want anyone here while I'm out. So um, she left early in the morning, which was good. And I'm starting to feel more comfortable at home now, free from closing the toilet door. I can leave it open. The shower door open, I'm free to do that until I get another one, another uh, roommate in, which I will probably lay it on. I've just got to sort out all my stuff and put what's expensive in the room. Um, or set up my camera so that I have it. I can set it up to have the emails and the videos sent to my phone if I'm out. The movement, motion detector movement. I can do that, but um, 
I prefer not to because it's annoying to, but I suppose it's for your safety, isn't it, really, to keep your property safe. I have those cameras, a camera in my bedroom and a camera in the lounge room here that takes all of over to the kitchen as well and the back. So anyway, I feel a lot better this It's kind of I settling down a bit. I was pretty traumatised by what she was saying. I had no idea she thought of me that way. And when she got drunk, the truth came out. Her tongue was So I thought, hmm, I can't have her here. I can't put up with this abuse. So I let her in my home, gave her three months free rent and she didn't pay electricity, she owed me for that. I got the money before she left. Um, that was last year, she owed me the electricity. It was last year and didn't pay it. Um, so when she paid her rent, she offered the rent early so I could go down and to Brisbane and get my car. I was buying another car online, but if my car got sold, so she paid my rent, her rent earlier in advance. So I took the money, what she owed me, and it came out pretty well. Still a few dollars she owed me more. But I let it go, so I got all the money back and um, I told her, no, you, never, you didn't pay rent for this week because you owed me money. And uh, I got my electricity money from last year, finally. And uh, so I got rid of her. And now I feel like as if I am a new person. I feel good. I'm not eating as much. I'm dancing and exercising freely before I was drained. It's like she had an energy that would drain me. And I felt drained. And Jasmine felt drained as well. She lives um, about four or five houses up. Oh, she doesn't live far. About four, two, four or five houses. Um, and when she left, we both had this burst of energy. So she definitely was draining our energy. She's an energy drainer, that one. And her energy isn't good either. It rots everything around her. So, uh, strangely, I think it's the disease that she's got. It, it rots her. It's called Huntington's disease. And it just deteriorates everything in her, in the person. And uh, their mind just goes and their muscles, the brain doesn't work and the mus they throw their arms around and things like that and can't shake all over and can't keep still. It does that to them and um, they die. And they have to strap them in the bed, keep them strapped and the tube down their throat to feed them because they're not there, they can't eat, they can't swallow, they have to have a tube down their throat. So um, that's Huntington's disease, it rots the person, but it also rots around their energy. My lounge started deteriorating holes in it where she sat. And I've been sitting in this chair years longer than her sitting on my lounge and it just was rotting holes in it everywhere and walking on my carpet to roll it up, put it in the corner, 
because her walking on it coming through the front door and then out the back and even to have a cigarette constantly walking on it it was deteriorate, deteriorating really fast and was it where I was walking so I thought no I better wrap that up I don't want to buy a new rug it costs money and I was glad to get rid of that energy. I put up with her for over a year because she had that disease and I felt sorry for her. But it doesn't work that way. You shouldn't feel sorry for the people. They will use that against you. So I got rid of her energy. I'm still feeling a little bit of it, but I've been lighting incense most of the day and getting rid of it and uh, herbs, burning herbs as well to fumigate the herb riddance. And I've got to do the bedroom. I do have to do the bedroom. I washed it out a little part there with bleach, but I've got to do the whole floor. If it will wash out with bleach so the smell can just get rid of her smell. It stinks in there still of her not bathing. So there's work to be done today. But for now, I'm having a cup of tea. And I'm uh, enjoying my um, relaxing with the water. I started to infuse this water crown with its real turquoise. I started to infuse that with the um, water symbol. And I thought that would uh, work with the water. And uh, that represents water. So I could connect the uh, water symbols if I need to just by wearing the crown. And I thought I would just play around and do that. Got a bit bored and um, put them back in and pets are sleeping so they'll be out the road. And got my vacuum cleaner working. Charged it up not long ago and it needs to be used before the battery deteriorates. So I've got to use that constantly to keep the battery working. And can you hear the birds in the background? That's beautiful nature sounds are calming. And I do like dance music so I can get motivated. But for now, I've just got some calming music. And I brought my crystal out to, um, to move, practice some moving, keep it keep that part of the brain it starts I feel it over here when I do move the crystal I feel the, this part of my brain my head sort of feels a bit funny when I um, move the crystal so I think that's the part of the brain that works to move things if that helps anybody no headaches or anything like that. It's quite pleasant. It's not uh, straining. Don't strain yourself if you try to move a crystal. Don't strain yourself. You have to train the crystal to go to your other hand. So you've got to picture that it's nothing and the energy is nothing. It's, then it becomes your energy and you have nothing in this hand so you're moving nothing to nothing that's how I started doing it was moving nothing to nothing and it moved and sometimes flew off my hand so that was kind of like whoa how did this happen but unless it's just me I don't know I, I just think anybody should be able to do it Anyway, um, 
going to get off this uh, camera video and uh, I don't think there's anything else to say except my feelings are different today. I feel good and I'm happy to be alone and free from her. I'm very happy about it. I'm happy I won some money on the lotto, not much, but some money. I don't think Dreams knows the difference between small and big. So it seems big to it, to the dreams I have, when it's only small amounts. And that's the same with the symbols. They appear when in many small amounts, which is crazy. Maybe there's another new thing going to happen and I may win big. I'd like to see what happens then with her soon. So anyway, um, I don't think there's anything else I want to say. I'll just have to think. No, nothing else to say. Just I'm feeling great today. Bye, and I love you all. I love my family very much too. My sons and daughter and everyone. My son's kids. My grandkids. Both grandchildren. Love them, love life. <laughs>